Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about this. <laughs> I don't know, absurdity. <laughs> um, so new Matrix movie in development from Drew Goddard. Drew came to Warner Brothers with a new idea that we all believe would be an incredible way to continue the Matrix world. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually from the second film, of course, but the second film had a lot of cool stuff in it, but, you know, you all know where it goes. Really? They probably should have... I think I've always thought they should have just never have done the third film and just tacked the ending on... Like, you could cut the third film down to ten minutes <laughs> and stick it on the end of the second one, and there you go. Or just leave the first one alone, and you just sit and wonder, you know, he says, I'm going to take you on, Matrix, and it, leaves, it ends that way, you know? Yeah. And then they decided to do a fourth one. Yeah. So in a surprise announcement, Warner Brothers has announced Drew Goddard's developing a fifth Matrix movie. Oh. Details are slim, yeah, I'll bet. But it's known. Original co-writer and co-director Lana, yeah, Lana Wachowski is executive producing the new film. Yeah, after sitting through Matrix uh, Resurrections, um, boy, uh, <laughs> it's impossible, almost impossible to uh, not conclude uh, that Wachowski deliberately made it so bad. Uh, and I, because <laughs> it was so stupid. Uh, and that it, it was done to, to just burn it down so there couldn't be any more, maybe. I don't, it didn't work because now they want another one. And because Warner Brothers is trying to build up IP around itself uh, in, the, in the hopes of pol polishing its overall brand for sale. And um, they want to do more Harry Potter. Uh, DC, of course, is in the midst of its reboot, James Gunn. They want to do some more Lord of the Rings films. Well, you know, because it's what they, they've got the rights to. Yeah, what else we got? What else we got? Well, Matrix, well, we just pooped the bed on that with that god-awful follow-up. Uh, after the original trilogy... Uh, ended very, in a very unsatisfying way. I mean, it just... it was. Clearly, it's like, we don't know what else to do. At least with the fifth film, there was almost a moment in it where it was interesting about the uh, the, the Civil War that took place kind of off to the side in the movie. <laughs> it was like, oh, the, the machines turned on one another. What, what, maybe there's something there. Nah, never mind. Uh, so it, it did set up a thing in the original narrative that there had been what six versions of neo uh, before you get to the keanu reeves the version of neo so i i'm guessing they would approach it in that way um but then would it be a prequel or something because here uh you know this neo defeated the matrix uh and you know and protected uh, the real world and it's weird miserable cave dwelling society <laughs> where they have bizarre bohemian orgies and whatnot uh, but nevertheless uh, that was the deal seemingly dying at the end uh, who knows uh, well uh, the fifth one says no nah, he was resurrected in the tank and stuff and 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 oh uh, so was trinity uh, no trinity was dead i mean <laughs> but you gotta have a female neo too uh, why not just uh, trans Neil? You know, yeah, that's what I would have thought. But anyway, speaking of returning, it's presently unknown if Keanu Reeves, Carrie Ann Moss, Lars Fishburne, Hugo Weaving, <laughs> Hugo Weaving's not coming, Jada Pinkett Smith, why bother, are coming back for the. F She'd probably be the one that would return <laughs> out of the batch. <laughs> but I'm thinking it's a full on. Uh, well, reboot, the word reboot would actually be applicable. Probably should have been. You know, but, uh, anyway, so plot details are unknown. Yeah, it's probably very vague. It, it, you know, I, am I supposed to believe that Drew Goddard's the one who got this ball rolling and pitched it or whatever? 
Uh, they probably say, hey, anybody got any ideas of how we can restart uh, Matrix so we can have another brand to rely on? Because <laughs> making a new one's hard. And uh, we're in a lot of trouble. So uh, Jesse Ehrman, Warner Brothers Motion Pictures, president of production, said in a statement, Drew came to Warner Brothers. Did he? With a new idea we all believe would be an incredible way to continue the Matrix world. By both honoring what Lana and Lily began over 25 years ago. You know, back when they were, yeah. And offering a, a unique perspective based on his own love of the series and characters. The entire team at Warner Brothers Discovery is thrilled for Drew to be making his new Matrix film. Adding his vision to the cinematic canon. Wachowski spent a quarter of a century building here at the studio. Drew Goddard said it's not hyperbole to say the Matrix films changed both cinema and my life. Well, it's some hyperbole, but no, it did have a massive influence. That is true. Lil uh, Lana and Lily's exquisite artistry inspires me on a daily basis. Really? And I am beyond grateful for the chance to tell stories in their world. Goddard was actually rumored to tackle Marvel Spider-Man 4, starring Tom Holland. But that doesn't seem to be happening. Well, I don't know which one's the best. I would guess Spider-Man 4 has a better shot. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. So let's see. What else did he do? Uh, Goddard is known for Cabot, the Cabot in the Woods. That wasn't too bad. I, You know, it was all right. I, you know, it had some interesting moments. It was kind of funny. Uh, the Martian, I did not see it. I've heard people say they really liked it. I've heard people say they couldn't stand it. So I don't know, but I, I just wasn't interested in that. Lost, well, <laughs> uh, I don't hate Lost, but I understand the hatred for it. <laughs> At the same time. So, well, I don't know which episodes he was involved in, but anyway, Daredevil. Um, do they mean the movie or or the TV series? If it's the TV series, well, that's a plus. So the Defenders. Oh, it must be the TV series. He must have done an episode of the, of the Daredevil TV series. The Defenders, well, hmm, that wasn't very good. I mean, mostly just boring. And, uh, you know, not the kind of, you know, not in the uh, piss you off uh, category, uh, but still boring. Which isn't a good thing for a superhero show. So the four Matrix movies have brought in around $1.8 billion worldwide. Well, these days you need one to do at least that to break even. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. This is one of those things uh, Matrix hit when it did. And it was groundbreaking and, and incredible and suggested all kinds of things. And then follow-ups have failed it ever since. Um, again... I, I do appreciate and enjoy the second film somewhat, but it, it's not going anywhere. And no one cr uh, clearly had any idea of what to do next, which is why it's best to leave it, you know, open like that with, uh, with, the, with the first film. But uh, when you make a lot of money, like when you become that popular and make a lot of money at a time, uh, it, it, yeah, a company's not going to leave that alone. And again, Warner Brothers is in this position where they need... Uh, they keep looking for uh, franchises that can uh, spark interest and uh, polish the overall brand of Warner Brothers for sale. And uh, that's what they're doing again with all the entities they already have, most notably uh, DC. Um, but in case that doesn't work out, <laughs> and odds are it won't, and I hate to say it, I wish it wouldn't true, but I don't know. Um, but Matrix, I'm... Harry Potter, and uh, which I've never been interested in, but it you know, was a, an extraordinarily popular brand, might have more of a shot, even though I think odds are that's kind of concluded as well. Lord of the Rings, especially after what Amazon has done to it, they'll probably have a better shot of producing something. But the main story, the most popular story of Lord of the Rings, has already been told and shown. So, uh, what else you got in the toy box? Um... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, you're gonna get another Matrix. Whether you like it or not. <laughs>